and uh, every team is different. Um, and you can see where we are, and you can see how far we have to go. Um, it's 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 nice to be able to win um, along the way, um, but obviously we got to get a lot better if we're going to be able to beat the people that are on our schedule later on in the season. Um, one of the reasons why we've played the non-conference that we've played, um, teams that are picked to finish in the top three of their league, um, like Georgia Southern third, Davidson you know, first or second, um, South Alabama first, Colgate in the Patriot League first, New Mexico in the top three, Firm in the top two or three. Um, these teams have, they know how to win. Um, they've been there before. They've, uh, they've been in close games. Um, one of the things that clearly st stared me in the face on Tuesday night at South Alabama was I was playing against a team where there were a lot of guys on the floor late, and I was playing with a team that hadn't had many guys on the floor late, maybe just Samir. Javon wasn't out there late. Um, Danielle wasn't out there late. Um, Anthony was. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony would have been so Anthony. Isaac is a freshman. Um, and so to go through the experience and survive it, um, if we can learn from it, is, is, uh, is really valuable. Obviously, uh, uh, just a great environment on Tuesday night. Uh, and uh, um, well, we got work to do, uh, particularly, particularly in the offensive end. And uh, I think the other thing I'd point out is this. Uh, we always talk about the bench being right and ready how important that is. And I told Alan Flanagan and uh, I had told Jamal Johnson before the game, I said, you guys, you, know, you understand something. You're going you're gonna to win us games this year. You guys are going to win us games this year. I said, no, you can also lose us games too to catch a smile from them a little bit, to get them a little bit relaxed. But my point to them was uh, we need you to stay right and stay ready. And I mean, for, for Jamal to be able to come in there and knock down four threes, you know, for Allen to be able to come in there and play his best game so far uh, when, we get in, when we got into some foul trouble on the front line. Uh, for Stretch to be able to get in there for three or four minutes again due to foul trouble and block some shots and, 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 uh, and you know, the energy that he brought, the team, it was really <coughs> nothing. Um, it, was, uh, it was, that's how you got to build it a little bit. But we got, we got, we got work to do. Um, when I put the roster up on, uh, which I do before every game, um, who's going to play that night. Uh, next to Anthony's name, I put Maverick. And uh, I don't think all the guys understood what that was all about. I wrote the names on the board. I was able to then explain to the team that Maverick would be born on Wednesday morning and Anthony would have his first child. Um, and sure enough, and, uh, after the game, uh, we were able to get Anthony back quickly, uh, thanks to our athletic director, Alan Green. And uh, he was able to be with his fiance uh, the evening before their child was born. And Maverick was delivered yesterday morning at 9 o'clock uh, over in Columbus. I got a chance last night to go over there and see, uh, see the family. And it was, it was great. Uh, it was very sweet. And uh, hold Anthony's son, who was just 11 hours old. Um, so a lot of blessings, a lot of wonderful blessings, uh, you know, took place over the last, you know, 24 hours or so. Uh, get ready for Cal State Northridge, a Cal State Northridge team that's picked to finish in the top three of their conference. Um, and uh, Mark Gottfried, uh, a coach that I've gone up against before, very familiar with, uh, uh, been, been competitive games uh, against Mark. And um, um, the, uh, they've got a team that's uh, played three high major programs. They've played Oregon State, and they've played New Mexico, and two high major programs, and then they played Pepperdine. Uh, they haven't won yet. Uh, they've been close for about 35 minutes, and then the game's got away from them at the end. Um, and uh,
they've got an All-American and Big West Player of the Year, uh, who was a sophomore, who was who was the Big West Freshman of the Year and Player of the Year a year ago. He has not played in their first three games, and he's due to come eligible at some point, whether it's tomorrow or whether it's a week from now or start the second semester. We don't know, but he, he is uh, not eligible, has not been eligible for the first first three games. So we'll prepare, you know, to face him. Um, I just continue to grow. It's about, it's about us as much as anything. Can we talk about uh, stretch as the first game and what he needs to do to be more of a factor? Yeah, I mean, stress was, was back in Nigeria for nine months um, and uh, uh, really unable to play uh, much basketball. And, and uh, um, so his his growth and development obviously uh, was stunted. Uh, within the first month he gained 20 pounds, um, which tells you a little something about the way you know we're able to provide nutrition for our, our student athletes. Um, and the speed, the tempo, the conditioning, uh, you know, coming back to him. Stretch has got great length and uh, when we get his lower body and his core stronger, he'll be able to get more lift and uh, because he's got great defensive instincts. Um, you know, you, all, you love all your children, um, and, and you don't like any more of them than you do any others. You don't, you don't know. The kids always accuse you of having your favorites. Well, Stretch is one of my favorites, and I've told the team that ahead of time. That he's one of my favorites, you know. But he's also one of their favorites. He's a great kid, very appreciative, very hardworking. And uh, we got to get him ready uh, to help us this year, but also to be a, a major factor next year when we lose several players on the front line. Anything and he's just got a phenomenal attitude. He just wants to get better. He's a sponge. He's coachable. Anything in particular, basketball skills-wise? Uh, yeah, I just have more confidence offensively. He's, he, he's, got a, he's got great defensive confidence. He's got, he's got, he doesn't have very, a lot of offensive confidence. And uh, that just comes through, will come through experience. He's a better offensive player than he gives himself credit for. As you mentioned, Jamal, you've had players come in, transfer in, and sit out that year practicing with the team. How much does that year, <clears throat> being able to be with the team, help a guy like Jamal come in and play here? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, it, it, it helps a lot. Um, I think guys transferring and sitting out a year is a, is a, a great tool for, uh, uh, for them personally to develop, get caught up academically, get ahead academically. Um, it, Jamal had a lot of catching up to do physically. He was behind uh, strength uh, um, in his development, his physical development. Um, had some injuries when he was younger, um, with his hips and his knees and different things like that. So last year was a great chance for him to just get physically better. Um, the knowledge of the system, um, uh, the willingness to, to have another guy out there that knows what he's doing, he knows what he's supposed to be. You know, for me, my thing with Jamal has been to try to give him more confidence to, to get him to be more assertive because um, he knows what to do. It's just that his own personality is, um, is um, one where he, uh, um, uh, he's willing to assert himself but not comfortable uh, forcing others to be in the right spots when he knows where they're supposed to be, and that's 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 what, I'm, what we, he can do. So it, it is a, is it, it is an advantage. And look, we don't win the game without him. Like, okay, I mean, don't beat South Alabama without Jamal Johnson. He's only been here for three games. He's already won us a game. Of course, we don't win the game without Isaac Carl. We don't win it without Anthony McElmore. We don't win it without Samir getting ten rebounds. We don't win it without um, Jay Bond doing a better job breaking pressure. There were a lot of different pieces to the game. And uh, one of the things I talked to the team about yesterday was be yourself. you got to be the best version of you. Jamal doesn't need to be Bryce. Javon doesn't need to be Jarek. Uh, there are things that they do, there are things that we do that uh, that make us better. Got to go to our strengths and know what our weaknesses are stay away from them. Would you like to get uh, Turbo into the game? And Coming games. We are planning a turbo will play Saturday, uh, Friday, excuse me, uh, and Monday. We just felt 
the way the game was going, we were down for much of the first half. He typically gets a rotation there. Um, Jamal was playing well. Um, we just felt like we just felt like a little more Jamal, a little bit more Allen in that time uh, was was required. Um, so it really wasn't any kind of a demotion. My goal is to get him a couple rotations every game, as long as our roster stays healthy the way it is, because uh, he's earned it. And I've got confidence in him. You guys looking forward to being back home after a couple games, a couple games away from home? I'll tell you what, uh, this will be, uh, we had three games in seven days, including two on the road. Um, and the Naval Academy, we went, we went on a day early. Uh, the bus trips, the bus trip, uh, we got back from Navy uh, really late on Friday night. I want to say we got back around 2.30 in the morning. And then we got back from our bus trip from South Alabama uh, <coughs> yesterday, or Tuesday night, Wednesday morning around 1.30. And then classes on start on 8 o'clock on Wednesday. So yesterday's practice, uh, we got the starters and we watched film. We got the starters in here. Uh, we got some shots. We went to the scout. Uh, we stretched and I got them out of here. Uh, they had uh, uh, half a day. And then we spent the rest of the day actually going live with ben the bench. The bench because we got great repetitions yesterday. So we had a really good practice yesterday. A lot of times what happens is you get your team ready based on the guys that are playing the heavy minutes and you, and you forget about those other guys. We, we try not to. And so I got a great workout yesterday from them. And again, going back to the fact that it's just it's about us. It's about you know we're we're a ways away from where we need to be to be competitive. But we've been good enough to win. So that's all you're trying to that's the, that's the